like we we agreed we, we talked about, about the recruitment exercise last time before the when when the, the receiving of applications was on, was on, ongoing i wanted us to have a, a kind of summary of so far what has come in the the applications that have come in are so overwhelming that um, one we were now the, the shortlisting process has, uh, is now on we have so far received about two, four applications for city engineer we have received the 12 for city natural resources uh, officer we have re 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 received five for city planner we have received about 13 for city production officer we have received 12 for for city planner we have received uh, 14 for senior education officer we have received about 17 for senior inspector of schools we have received 48 for inspector of schools we have received 18 for assistant inspector of schools we have received 43 for uh, head, uh, primary school head teachers. We have received 131 for deputy head teachers. We have received 102 for senior education assistants. We have received 286 for education assistants. And uh, you know that here we only have 19 posts, and this is against 286. I'm emphasizing that because we are going to come to a time when I'm going to make a comment on that. We have received 25 for composite manager. We have received 27 for agriculture, for agriculture officer. We have received 73 for, for office supervisor. We have received seven. We have received the six for for senior medical officer. We have received the forty six for medical officer. We have received nineteen for health information assistant. We have received the forty one for laboratory technician. We have received one hundred eighteen applications for enroll ordinance. We have also received 258 for town agent against only eight posts that are out, that are available. We have received uh, eight for machine operator. We have received 31 for mortuary attendant. Why are we talking about these? Getting the numbers of people with the applications that have been received against the number of posts that are, what, are available. It means there is a very high competition. And when there is this high competition, you are going to have people who are willing to use other methods of convincing applicants that they have a way of influencing the process if they give them some, what, some money. One thing we are putting across that recruitment process in Mbale City is not for financial transaction. It is based on competence. Like I've just told you, we have 258 applications for town agent against only eight posts. Just know that it is only eight out of 258. Therefore, that means 250 will not have the what? The job. It will only be eight to have a what? A job. So from the time of applying to the time of getting the job, just know that the chances of getting a job is eight out of 250 what? Eight. If you cancel eight with eight, it means 250 will not have a what? A job and people should not be influenced that they will make uh, they will make a process because kutos is the PR of the council 
Therefore, maybe he knows the Central Service Commission, maybe town clerk knows they, they appoint the members of the commission, many appoint members of the commission. I know a number of political leaders are now under pressure by their voters to ask them to influence the process. But if you are going, if you are, these are 248, 258 people, they are all from within Mbale here. Each of them is connected to the mayor in one way or the other. Each of them is connected to one person here in the council. Each of them is connected in one way or the other to the members of the what? Of the commission. Let people be prepared to go for competition. And when you merit, they will give you a job. I reminded people the last time that every other time you go in to give a break, you the giver of the break and the receiver of the bribe, the bribe, you are all culpable because you are criminals. The Anti-Corruption Act talks of one who receives and one who gives as criminals and they can equally be prostituted. We are giving this statement on, on behalf of the council out to the public to keep away people from being fleeced of their hard and what income. We have known of people who ask for as high as 5 million, 2 million, 3 million from what? from people. Now, if a teacher who is going to get a job of 480,000 is asked for 5 million shillings, first of all, the person is not having a job. Where does he get this amount of money? The parents already sold whatever they had and are supported. One has stayed at home for over 2-3 years without a job. Please, let us be sympathetic and ensure that our people merit takes place and this is the the talk now within the city the city corridors all leaders everybody we are saying let people join on merit and also appealing to members of the commission to exhibit that high level of integrity that they are not influenced by what by anybody because all people have applied are ugandans and they all deserve a job but we do not have I many. You will not see that one. There could be more, but one thing we have to to know is uh, the substructures of all local governments or even government agencies at the center are not fully uh, you utilize up to 100 percent because it also relates to the wage bill. We would have loved that everybody is employed, but given the limitations on the wage bill, this cannot work. This cannot happen.